Oh, alright. So, I did a reaction review. To see that reaction review, click the... I'll have a link right here. So, check out my reaction. Go to the 16 minute point of the video because before that, I started a little early. So, check out my reaction to the Star Wars trailer. But now it's time for the review of the trailer. So, let's get started. Star Wars The Final Force Awakens trailer. Alright, so let's get right down to this trailer review. Oh man, I took a page of notes, so yes, I know I'm a nerd. Oh well. The first thing to look at is Rey as a scavenger. She's doing like her Indiana Jones day. She is in the ship. It also kind of reminds me of Nastia in the Valley of the Wind, the Miyazaki film. How she's like scouring the waste. That's kind of what reminds me of this uh, scene in the movie. And we, and we hear Lupita in August voice, and she's like, who are you? And Ray's like, I have no one. It looks like she's hiding out. She is a character, I think she is the main character of the, of the series. Each series we've had, each trilogy, we have had a main star. Episodes 1 through 3 was Anakin Skywalker. Episodes 4 through 6 was Luke Skywalker. And episodes 7 through 9, I think it's going to be Ray Skywalker, I believe. Rey is a Skywalker. I believe she is the daughter of Luke Skywalker. I'll get a little more to that theory in a little bit, so let me continue on. Next thing we see is we see John Boyega's character, Finn. Now, Finn, he's a store trooper. I think that is, without a doubt, he's a store trooper. He's not just wearing the armor. Because in this trailer, we hear him say, For the longest time, I fought for something, and now it's gone. I think he saw something that completely destroyed his world. I think what this is, is in Star Wars Rebels, we're seeing the Emperor. He's gathered all the children of the Force and turned them into Inquisitors. Now, what if this took this one step further and gathered all the children of the Force and turned them to Storm Troopers? Well, people with Force system would be able to shoot better, that's for sure. I'm kind of fine with that. I think that's kind of, that sounds kind of cool. I think Finn is going to be a great character. Kylo Ren! Now, Kylo Ren, the voice. The voice of him is phenomenal. I think this guy is going to be awesome. I think he's going to be one of the best Star Wars villains of all time. Just him saying, he's like, I will finish what you have started. And did he see Darth Vader's helmet? Is this a... And first off, the thing to think about is Kylo Ren's a little nuts. He's talking to the helmet. Or is he? He could be talking to Supreme Commander Snoke, which could be Darth Plagueis in the end, but who knows. Snoke is being played by Andy Serkis. We still have not seen his character yet, which I'm think I am going to be really happy about at the end of this movie. My big question is, what did Vader had planned? Was, it could be two simple days. The first simple plan was, Vader's plan was to eliminate the Jedi. That could be the simple, that could be the simple story of it, cut clean, easy to remember. But, what if it's something more? What if it was a secret plan against the Emperor? What if it was Vader trying to achieve immortality for Darth Plagueis in Episode 3? It could be. That'd be a good way to tie it from the prequels to the new trilogy. We see Kylo Ren torture Poe, Oscar Isaac's character, and it was incredible. What was he doing? Was he showing him a force vision? And because in our Clone Wars episode, we see one of the we see one of the force sensitive people on the planet Mortis give Anakin visions of the future. Maybe he showed Poe the future. Kylo Ren showed the future to Poe, or maybe that's something that happens in the movie with this Star Killer ship, which we haven't seen in the movie or the trailers, but we have seen in the, and we see it in the poster. All oh, the dog fights. The dog fights look incredible. The Millennium Falcons, the Tie Fighters, the X Wing, Tie Fighter go, and then the X Wing just fight. It looks incredible. I am so geeking out. And that's what I love about this. It's using practical effects, but it's using the CGI to enhance the practical effects. It's incredible. Another thing I really like was Han Solo. He's kind of like the Gandalf or the Obi-Wan Kenobi character from episode four this show. In episode four, they find Ben Kenobi and Luke asks about his father and the Clone Wars, the Jedi. The Jedi have become legends. And this is the same thing that happens in four, five, and six. In this little scene, we see Han saying, it's true, the Jedi, the Sith, all of it, all of it is true. So. It looks like Han Solo is going to be taking them on the journey to find Uncle Luke or Dad Luke or whatever. It looks pretty incredible. And now I'm starting to believe Han Solo is maybe he's not going to die in this movie. Who knows? Oh, and seeing the Lady Falcon go into hyperspace. Oh, so cool. Nothing screams Star Wars more than the Millennium Falcon or a lightsaber. But more the Millennium Falcon. 
Oh, and we also see the Knights of Red. And the one thing I really saw was I saw Ray's staff. So maybe the reason Ray is away from she's high out. Maybe she's in exile, kind of like what Luke does. Maybe she's ashamed of what she did with the Knights of Red. But I'm pretty sure Ray was a member of the Knights of Red, and that's incredible. What it seems to be is the Knights of Red could have been the Jedi, and they kind of went crazy, and they started following the cult of Vader or something. It also looks like the Knights of Red had Mandalorian armor. This kind of reminds me of KOTOR, where a lot of the Jedi would be wearing Mandalorian armor and become the new Sith Empire in the KOTOR games. That's what Revan did. Kyle Ren's mask reminds me of a Mandalorian mask, and that's what could be. That'd be kind of cool. Also, we see a little history between Poe and Finn. And it's just that scene of Oscar Isaac's character patting Finn on the back. And they're like, mm. I kind of think that Finn's character was a stormtrooper overseeing Poe when they're on, when he's being tortured. That could be like the first scene of the movie. Something goes down and Finn crashes lands on Jakku. And that could open the movie. Also, it looks like someone dies because we see, we see Ray's face crying. And we kind of see fur. Could that be Chewbacca? Oh no, I always thought Chewbacca would die because you don't kill the family dog. But this movie looks like it's going to be really, really dark. Leia's voice at the end, I'm pretty sure. And we also see Leia hugging Han. And I, that looks incredible. It's incredible to see Han and Leia again together. Because it's like one of the greatest on-screen chemistries I've ever seen on in a movie. In Empire Strikes Back. Just that I know... I love you, I know, it's just incredible. Uh, people would say it, Han and Leia aren't together, and I think they're together. They may have never made it official, but uh, I think they're still together, and just that hug kind of proves it to me. Or they could be hugging because their son, which could be Kylo Ren, they find out who he is, and they're hugging their eye. He's Han's like, damn it, dad, dad. Also, another thing about Harrison Ford's portrayal of Han Solo, one day you're worried about was Hawk, Harrison Ford's been kind of throwing it in with every role he's been doing it the past few years. But in fairness, I think I didn't see Harrison Ford. I saw Captain Han Solo, and that was incredible. The last shot of the movie, we see Kyle Ren with this lightsaber, turning it on, and we see we see Finn with his lightsaber. He's like, "Bring it, buddy!" And then. And then uh, we see Kyle Ray take one step and, come, and, and Finn's like, uh oh, I, oh no, I'm, I'm screwed. So that was a really cool shot. And Kyle Ray doesn't have his helmet on. So this could be really, really good. And uh, guys, I am so excited. I've watched this trailer about 20 times, maybe. It is incredible. It's one of the best trailers I've ever seen. Last night I said, I like the last trailer better. I don't. I was lying. I saw it again and again. It started tearing me up every time I see it. I get goosebumps every time I see this trailer. And I just, I cannot wait for this movie. And one of the best parts of this trailer is I still do not know what this movie's about. What the hell is this story going to be? And that was great. Obscure and mystery. I think it's going to be an awesome movie. A return to Star Wars after the best the prequels were. Oh, I cannot wait for this movie. So guys, have you seen the trailer? What are your thoughts? Comment below and let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to see more. All too easy. Yeah.